Welcome back. Today we're talking about megalophobia. No, 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 wait, sorry. Megalophobia, which is the fear of large things. Kind of rude of you to show up for this one with a heart as big as yours. It seemed like you're taking that as a compliment, but an enlarged heart is actually a very serious medical condition. You probably should get it looked at. This one, I feel like doesn't need that much introduction. I don't have this phobia personally, but I think it's interesting and there's definitely a lot of people that have this phobia it seems like it comes up a lot first one the second largest known near-earth asteroid eros jeez louise <laughs> bro you don't gotta still fly that way you can you can shift your route a little bit you guys are scared of a big bean really <laughs> No, just kidding. This is one of those ones that I think about, not in a megalophobia kind of way, but I feel like every so often there's some sort of NASA article about how some big asteroid's gonna be passing by Earth soon, you know? It's kind of like in those silly movies when someone like gets shot at a bunch and like the bullet holes kind of hit the wall all around them, you know, but like they're unscathed. And it's funny cause it's like, man, they hit everywhere except for you, that's crazy. But I think about that for Earth, and asteroids and how like they do kind of be flying by and close is very relative in space it could be still really far but like if there ever was a big asteroid hurtling towards earth like what would we do you know we would know in advance that probably wouldn't be like that movie with bruce willis i don't think we could actually send people up there to just blow up the asteroid but yeah the scale of this is crazy in this first shot you're like it's big you really get the scale, but then you really get the scale in this one. You know what I mean? This ball thing in Vegas, the sphere, they can light it up to look like anything. If you live there, like, do they ask you first if they're if you're okay with them building this? Like, hey, are you okay with seeing a giant glowing ball from your front yard forever from now on? You cool with that? We can change what it looks like. We'll, we're open to requests. Moon, we got you. Big eyeball, we got you. Mike Wazowski? We'll see what we can do. All right, headphones are going on. Dude, go away. Dude. Oh my God. Do they know something we don't know about why this that they're standing on is safe? Like if that can fall, then why can't this fall? That's crazy. That's wild. It's also weird to see how inconsequential like a built road is on the environment. It's like, eh, the ground's gonna give out whether or not you build a road on it. But yeah, I would not be standing this close. I would think about it, you know, I'd maybe go up for a second, but then I'd be like, what am I doing? Like, you know, curiosity should only last a second, and then you're like, oh yeah, the ground is falling. Maybe I'll back up a little bit. You know, he's not even filming. He's not even risking his life for content. He's just on the phone. Goofball behavior. Rare deep sea this fish. This is a rare sighting of the deep sea ore fish, which according to Japanese legend, means something Whoa, ominous is about to happen. Divers it's like chrome creature in shallow waters off the coast of Taiwan. In Japan, the fish is known as a messenger from the sea god's palace, and according to legend, its appearance Dude. can signal an imminent earthquake or tsunami. But scientists don't agree. <laughs> scientists be like, it's a fish, bro. It's not gonna signal a tsunami. It's a fish. Yeah, like the, the tone is almost that the scientists are like, oh, the scientists don't believe it though. But scientists don't agree. Sorry, that was funny. I don't know why this is in this suburb though. It's not that big compared to other sea life. It's just like a large fish, you know, but it looks crazy. It looks so alien. It's the shiniest fish I've ever seen. It looks like it's made out of foil. Bro, that's crazy. Bomb test near aircraft carrier. I think I've seen this actually. Jeez, bro. That's crazy. 40,000 pound bomb. Also, there's something a little bit funny. I know I'm just pointing out what's funny about these. It's not really the point of the video, but like, there's something a little bit funny about like a normal announcer doing a countdown 
Like doing a countdown for a 40,000 pound bomb, it's a little bit funny, right? Am I silly? Am I, am I wrong? Like, it's not the ball dropping on New Year's Eve. This is a 40,000 pound bomb. That is crazy. And also the distance away that they are and the amount that the camera shakes is wild. Freedom ship concept, a floating city to free people from taxes. 1800 meters long, and I'm assuming this is the biggest one currently, 360. So just a casual six times the size of the biggest one. Um, yeah, this does not look feasible to me. I don't know how to scientifically explain how it's not, because I don't actually know, maybe it is. But I just don't think that the ocean wouldn't just destroy this thing. I think it's been proven to us enough times now that the size of the boat doesn't really like beat the ocean. Ocean always gonna win. Oh, 1800 meter apartment complex on the high seas during a storm when the waves are doing this? Yeah, good luck. Can you imagine being in your apartment trying to like cook a grilled cheese sandwich and meanwhile your apartment's doing like 45 degree angles over these waves? I mean, maybe it's so big finally that you just just go right through the waves, but I'm just gonna say, don't don't waste your time with this. Don't build it. If you're so rich that you can actually afford to live on this floating city, then you're not paying your taxes anyway. Uh, Megalodon attack. Chat, is this real? Oh, someone sent me this on Instagram. Thanks for that, by the way. So much water stuff. Jeez. Oh, no. Oh my god, dude. Jeez, <laughs> uh, bro. Why did you make that? Why did you make that? This first reveal of the shark, though. Where you see this, the outline of it, sort of. Oh my gosh, dude, that's crazy. This is not a water video. That's next week. This is megalophobia. We're looking at big things. Not big things in the water. That's my thing. Let's keep it out of the ocean today, can we? Giant ice shelf moving towards the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. This first frame looks crazy. Oh my god. What on earth? Huh? Okay, I did the research for you. Here we go. Apparently this happens a lot. This is probably on the big side, I would guess. But there's a... <laughs> it happens so much that there's a website dedicated to tracking these icebergs of just like, hey, here's one and here's how big it is. It's like a thing. And they got pictures... Hey, look, there's one. What happens if it hits the shore? You walk out your front door and there's just a, an ice wall. Dude, this is crazy. This looks like the Tesseract scene from uh, Interstellar, doesn't it? Like even the floors, like the colors. So it's in Atlanta and people are saying this is where they host Dragon Con, which I don't know what that is. Uh, but yeah, it's just a massive hotel and those are people down there. I can't imagine how dizzy this makes you feel looking over this. It's like staring into the void. Just because you can make it that big doesn't mean you should. Bro, this is a cool photo, but like not in a cool way. It's very cartoony in the in the how sinister this looks. You know, you got this beautiful like lush green landscape and then you just have this black and gray, smoky, industrial, hellish <laughs> plant back here just gobbling up, I don't know, children. Okay, dude, what the hell is this? Are you on top of a windmill? In flip-flops? Oh my gosh, dude. Jeez, bro. The frantic motions of the camera after this first shot, how he kind of like follows it and swings up and kind of like does this wavy thing. Oh, it just feels like you could just tip over the side so easily. To me, this is more fear of heights than anything, but yeah, these things are massive. I've seen them. They're big. And you should not be standing on top of them so close to the edge in flip-flops. My guy. The title is, what do you do in this situation? I don't know. Nothing? 
If this thing wants to kill me, it, it will. There's nothing I can do. I can't run. I can't reason with him. I just roll for charisma and then just deal with the consequences. He doesn't look that vicious. He looks scary. But he doesn't look that vicious, you know? He's got he's got friendly eyes. Pretty scary. Saturn's density is so low that if you could put it in a bowl of water, it would float? Whoa. I mean, I don't think we can put it in a bowl of water, but it would float. Can you imagine a planet floating in water? Can you imagine swimming up next to a planet that's floating in water? I don't like that. I'm trying to picture that, like a planet. It would just look like a giant wall, essentially. Yeah, that one kind of terrifies me a little bit. I have to I have to think about it and imagine it for it to like really sink in, but... Well, actually, no, it wouldn't sink in. It would float. <laughs> <laughs> Jupiter is 11 times the diameter of Earth and 316 times as massive as Earth with storms constantly raging. It looks, it looks insane. Uh, guys, um, it's looking at me. Yeah, dude, I don't really know if I thought about that, but these are storms, just ever constant storms. I just wanna sip this. It looks like hot tea with cream, but it's not. It's uh, Jupiter, Jupiter having some storms. This is freaky to think these are just massive, like ridiculous sized storms and they're just endless in every direction. I just, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I think Earth is a little bit better. I think I like it more. Jupiter's bigger, sure, but like, I don't know. I kinda like Earth a little bit better. No way, more water content. <laughs> Yeah, just imagine, imagine this is the view from your apartment on that one ship we saw. Imagine paying too much for rent and being thrashed by the sea at the same time. Too high, too steep, no thank you. Man, <laughs> I like that, you know, it's like you're not gonna fall all the way down if you slip right here, probably, at least right here. There's enough things to stop you, but they're all hugging the wall and walking very slow and cautiously and I would be too. I tell you what, this is just seeing this and going down it, no. But that being said, I think that the camera angle makes it not seem as steep as it is. So this could be even steeper than it looks, which means that maybe you wouldn't be able to stop your own fall if you started going, you know? The camera's kind of tilted in the wrong way. This guy's like, I'm not going, dude, just leave me here. But is this a tornado forming? Is this video sped up at all? This is crazy. Okay, it's definitely sped up, but still, jeez. That is a wild sight. So ominous. That is close by. That's like across the parking lot, like in the next field over. I've never lived somewhere that they have tornadoes. And I get that like, if you live there, like there's ways around it. There's things you don't do. Like apparently it's not like, here we go. The town's gonna get destroyed again. Like it's not that extreme, but just the thought of it from an outside perspective, I'm like, you live somewhere that this can happen. The size of those cliffs. Zoo wee mama. Dang, where's this? This road is just so crazy. Also, where does the road go? Okay, I see it. I was like, it looked like it just went into the cliff. I can't tell if that's a tunnel or if the road just curves down, but either way, that's wild. It's Milford Sound, New Zealand. This picture was taken in the year 1919 in Seattle, Washington. Stacks of lumber drying at the Seattle Cedar Lumber Manufacturing Company's Mill in Ballard. The stacks of drying lumber were over 50 feet high. This just wood? It also seems like you should stack it where the biggest ones aren't on the top, but I don't know, I played with wood blocks a lot as a kid and I can only stack them so high before they just give away. No matter how structurally sound the base is, it doesn't matter. This picture looks like a weird limbo too. The fact that all you can see is these towers and like one guy in this extremely ominous tower. This is such a bizarre photo. Another tornado. Oh, it's on the water. It's a water spout. This. This should not be a thing. <laughs> but yeah, this is just, this is just not real. I mean, it is obviously, but like, this is not real. You know what I mean? That's water going up and it's like the, the clouds are just taking a little sip. I was like, oh, can I have some of your drink? Don't worry, I don't backwash. So weird. But at the same time, Imagine going down it like a water slide. <laughs> Dude, the cheese final boss in his labyrinth of cheese. You finally found him after wandering the cheese halls for hours. It kind of feels scary somehow. 
You can't exactly tell where the top of it is, like it could just go on forever. The cheese dimension, I wouldn't recommend it. Giant propellers of the cruise ship Symphony of the Seas. Yikes. Uh, just imagining that these are so big and then there's also like a huge ship that this is attached to. Terrifying. These people, tiny. Yeah, dude, boats, it's just boats. Boats, boats, boats. They, they just, they're getting too big. Dark blue ice exposed due to glacier flipping. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, I thought this was the dark blue, but this dark blue. Also that wave it makes right here. Bro, that's so crazy to see. Look how small it looks like. This is the only part that breaks off right here. Just the front of this thing breaks off, but how far down it goes. Man. Icebergs are scary. Water tower looming in the background. <laughs> That's so ominous. This is such like a, there's nothing unusual in this photo. It's just house, water tower, cloudy sky, but this is such an ominous photo. Even like the lighting on the house looks so scary with the with this watching over it. I don't know, just scary, scary all around. But someone should paint some like eyes on it or something, that'd be funny. Okay, let's end it here, shall we? Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at big things with me. I hope it put a big oh. smile on your face. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye. What are you still doing here?